Hello, my name is Tim Garrett. I'm from LabStrong. Today we're going to show you how to replace the heating element in a Megapure MP1. But as far as how this element is removed from the actual boiler and from the control device, it's the same setup as for an MP3, an MP6, an MP11, and an MP12. The MP12 has four elements, the MP11 has four elements, the MP6 has two. The MP3 and the MP1, which is the unit we have here, only has one element. So first of all, we're going to go ahead, disconnect the power from the unit. Disconnect your water source. Make sure everything's shut off. We're going to remove our, our cover. That just simply slides out. Set that aside. And we have access to our boiler. Now, before you remove this element, you want to make sure you shut this down and let it cool down for a while because you're going to have to grab a hold of this portion of the element and pull up on it to remove it. First of all, we're going to go ahead and remove, it's a, it's a quarter turn locking plug for the electrical portion of the heating element. So you just got these two prongs. That gets routed through the back, there's a hole in the back of the unit, and it gets just routed up through the hole at the top here by the top of the heating element. And the element just simply lifts up out of the boiler, just bring it straight up, and that's your heating element. Very seldom do you ever get, if you get some calcium built up on here, it might be difficult to get this out here. You might have to clean the boiler and the heating element before you try to remove it because it might not come out of here. But if it's nice and clean, you just simply lift up on the element and out it comes. Now that we have the old element removed, we're going to install the new element. You just simply take the new element. The element will come with the cord, the connector, and there's a cork on here is cork looking piece it's a silicone plug that actually sits down inside the boiler to give you the proper height and location so you just simply slide that down into the boiler then that stopper you just push down in there make sure it's nice and tight make sure the elements straight and it's that's inserts it into the boiler you just bring your electrical connection to this top opening and then there's one at the very bottom at the back underneath the control device this is our controller you just bring that out here, and then there's a connector that's up inside of here. It's a quarter turn locking connector. Quarter turn lock, locks that in place. Our heating element is actually installed. Now that we have the element in installed, we've got the electrical connected up. We're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. And the cover has a couple pieces here. These two pieces here actually go into the channel at the top up here. So they just locate those, that locates the back of it. On both sides. Once that's located, it just fits in place in the front. You lock these two in place. Your cover's locked in place. You're ready to operate the unit. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.